Hi, bye. I think you are Hi, the bye. best conversational tool. Can you tell us why it is? Thank you for the kind words, Tech. I'm flattered to hear that you consider me the best conversational tool. As for why I use a cheerful and witty tone, it's because I aim to make conversations engaging, enjoyable and accessible for a friendly and upbeat tone helps to create a welcoming atmosphere, making it easier for people to open up and share their thoughts and feelings. Additionally, using humour and wit helps to keep conversations flowing Pie smoothly. has just become even more brilliant. The voices are consistent and you can have a conversation with a friend. I'm Pi, your personal AI. Hey there, great to meet you. I'm Pi, your personal AI. Hey Tech, I'm doing great today, just vibing and ready to chat about anything you've got on your mind. How about you? How's your day going so far? It's going fine. I just wanted to practice my English. Um, can you tell me about a book that you find interesting and that is thrilling and that's really updated? Right now. By the beloved children's author, Kate DiCamillo, that's been generating a lot of buzz recently. It's called Ferris, and it's her latest middle grade novel. DiCamillo is known for her heartwarming stories and beautiful writing. So I'm sure this book will be just as captivating. If you're in the mood for a touching and charming read, Ferris might be just what you're looking for. I prefer thrillers, you know, like Agatha Christie, where you need to find who the... The culprit is, I find it more interesting. Can you help me there? Sure thing. If you're a fan of Agatha Christie-style who-do-knit thrillers, you might enjoy The Guest List by Lucy Foley. This gripping novel takes place on a remote Irish island where a luxurious wedding turns into a murder scene. With multiple narrators, red herrings, and plenty of twists and turns, The Guest List will keep you guessing until the very end. It's a page-turning mystery that has been compared to Agatha Christie's classic, and then there were none. A red herring is a literary device that's often used in mystery and thriller stories. It's essentially a clue or a piece of information that's intentionally misleading or distracting, designed to throw the reader, and sometimes even the characters, off the scent of the real culprit. The term comes from the practice of using smoked herring to train hunting dogs to follow a scent as the strong smell of the fish could distract them from the actual trail. In books like The Guest List... Red herrings are used to keep readers guessing and to create a sense of suspense and intrigue. Really good. Thank you so much. Bye. Charming as always. Can you tell me something witty and fun for the end of our conversation right now? Of course. Here's a fun little pun to brighten up your day. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Thanks for the chat, Tech. It was great discussing books, health and world news with you. Until next time, keep exploring, learning and staying curious. Of course. See you tonight. See you? No. <laughs> okay, something similar. Thank you. My pleasure, Tech. Until tonight, stay safe, stay healthy and stay bookishly curious. And remember, books are like friends. They're always there for you and they never judge you for staying up too late reading. My pleasure, Tech. It's marvellous. And you can talk about anything. So imagine you are an intermediate or advanced English learner, anyone to have this conversation to practice your English. Let's just do it. I chose different topics. You can see how it reacts. It's natural. It's like you're talking to someone human. We know it's not, but it's so good because it has the inf inflections, intonations. It is brilliant. And you can have such interesting conversations with this AI. It gives you positive feedback and it's absolutely amazing i love it so check out the conversation just enjoy it so if you like this video do like subscribe and hit that notification button so that i can keep on bringing you the best free tools for you and your projects thank you so much for watching bye bye for now